Hey guys, today I decided to make a video showing off my Blu-ray and DVD collection as you guys can see here. So yeah, the last time I've done one of these was two years ago and I know I've said two years ago in 2021 that it was my definitive collection. Well, I lied. So we're going to be taking a look at my updated collection. A lot can happen in two years and I don't know how long this video is going to be because this will be the first time I'm showing off both my DVD and Blu-ray collection. So have me on the background, get something to eat or drink. Let's get started, shall we? So here we go guys, this is my DVD collection and I just took them out of the drawer or I took the drawer out with my DVD collection inside them. So we'll go through them one by one. So. We have Batman the Animated Series, Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4, which is the complete Batman Animated Series. We have Batman Beyond, the complete series. Batman The Dark Knight Returns Deluxe Edition, which is the animated movie that contains Part 1 and Part 2 as one movie. Here is Batman The Triple Feature, which has... Batman Year One, Batman Gotham Knight, and Batman Under the Red Hood animated movies. Bumblebee, Challenge of the Super Friends, Cowboy Bebop the movie, the Daredevil Ben Affleck theatrical cut, Daredevil Director's Cut, uh, Dexter's Laboratory Season 1, Ed and Eddie Seasons 1 and 2, and Cartoon Network decided to release Ed and Eddie the complete series, but Mini Rant um, this is not the complete series. It's missing the holiday specials, which contains the Valentine's Day, Halloween, and Christmas special. And it's missing the movie, Ed and Eddie's Big Picture Show, which serves as the finale of the series. So, yeah. And I got these seasons because I got them way back when they released. And then this one came out last year, I think. And... I'm making a big deal about it because Ed and Eddie's my um, favorite cartoon of all time and it's my favorite show of all time growing up. So yeah, I hope Cartoon Network redoes this release and I can eventually get rid of this one and there you go. Uh, Fantastic Four, the complete um, 90s cartoon series. Fantastic Four Extended Edition, which is the Tim Story Fantastic Four movie from 2005, you know, with Jessica Alba and Chris Evans. Fantastic Four World's Greatest um, Heroes, the complete first season, which is the only season. The Godzilla movie, which has both the 1954 Japanese movie and the 1956, I want to say. Godzilla King of the Monsters, American version of that movie. Uh, Godzilla the series. Hey Arnold, the complete series. Hey Arnold, the jungle movie. Indiana Jones, the complete uh, adventures collection, which it's not complete anymore since Dial of Destiny is coming out, or it's already released from the uh, recording of the timing of this recording. So, but I haven't seen it yet. The Iron Giant signature collection, the Iron Man complete, or Iron Man the animated series, the complete 1994 um, animated television series. Johnny Bravo, season one. Justice League, Justice League, or Justice League Season 1, Justice League Season 2, Justice League Unlimited Season 1 and Season 2, which is the complete Justice League animated series, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, the Punisher triple feature, which has Dolph Lundgren's Punisher, Thomas Jane Punisher, and Punisher Warzone with Ray Stevenson, and then you have the Punisher, and this is the extended cut, while this one is the theatrical cut, Speed Racer, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man Trilogy, Spider-Man the New Animated Series, which is the MTV series. And when we go right here, we have the pretty much all of the Spider-Man animated series 90s cartoon uh, official releases because at least in the United States we have yet to get an official complete series of Spider-Man the Animated Series, so that's why I have them here. So Daredevil vs. Spider-Man, Spider-Man vs. Doc Ock. Spider-Man The Ultimate Villain Showdown, Spider-Man The Return of the Green Goblin, Spider-Man The Venom Saga, and we have Spectacular Spider-Man The Complete First Season, and we have Spectacular Spider-Man Volumes 5, 6, 7, 8, which is the complete second season of Spectacular Spider-Man. 
uh, Spongebob, the first 100 episodes. I think this is up to five seasons, the first five seasons of Spongebob, which is enough for me because those, those are the seasons that I remember watching on TV. Maybe an additional couple seasons after, like season six and seven, but after that, I was, i grown out of Spongebob, but yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Static Shock, the complete first, second, third, fourth um, season, which is the complete series of Static Shock. Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad Volume 1 and Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad Volume 2, which is a complete series. And Volume 1 is going for a lot of money right now because it's not in print anymore, it's discontinued, which is crazy. I never, I never knew that, but yeah. And we have Superman, the five film collection, which has Superman, Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut, Superman 3, Superman 4, and Superman Returns. And if you see Superman 2 right here, this is not the Richard Donner cut, this is the Richard Lester version because I wanted to have both versions of Superman 2. So I have both the Richard Donner cut and the Richard Lester cut. Superman the Animated Series uh, Volumes 1, 2, and 3, which is the complete series. Superman Batman Public Enemies, Super Powers Team Galactic Guardians, Super Sentai, Denji Sentai, Mega Ranger Complete Series, which is the Japanese counterpart of Power Rangers in Space. It's my favorite Super Sentai season. Uh, Tom and Jerry, The Spotlight Collection, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. Tom and Jerry, The Chuck Jones Collection. The Transformers, The Movie, which is the 1986 movie, I want to say. 1987? 86? 87? I could be wrong. But it's the animated movie from the 80s. Uh, Wonder Woman, the complete first, second, third season, which is the complete series of Linda Carter Wonder Woman. And I have Wonder Woman 1984 on DVD because I thought this movie was a great tribute to the Linda Carter series. I don't hate it like a lot of other people do, but it is a downgrade from the first film and it's one of the reasons why I got on DVD, just to, to have it next to the Linda Carter show. But that's just me. Uh, X-Men Volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, which is the complete X-Men 90s animated series. Uh, Zeta Project uh, Season 1 and 2, which is also the complete series of the Zeta Project. And pretty much I have a completed DC Animated Universe um, on DVD. So yeah, here's my DVD collection. Let's move on to the Blu-ray collection. Now we'll be looking at my Blu-ray collection, so we got plenty to go through, so let's get started. Uh, Batman the Movie, which is the Adam West film. Uh, the Adventures of Batman, which is one of, if not the first Batman cartoon that we've gotten, ever. Uh, Batman 1989, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, Batman and Robin, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker, The Batman the Complete Series, which is the 2004 the Batman cartoon. Pretty underrated cartoon in my opinion. Uh, Batman Harley Quinn. Batman The Dark Knight Returns Part 1 Part 2. Batman Gotham Knight. Batman Mask of the Phantasm. Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero. Batman Mystery of the Batwoman. Batman Ninja. Batman Soul of the Dragon. Batman Under the Red Hood. Batman Year One. Batman Begins. The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight Rises. Batman v Superman. Dawn of Justice. Lots of Batmans by the way. Black Adam, uh, Blade, the Blade Trilogy, Blade, Blade 2, and Blade Trinity. And we have four film favorites, Blades and Battles Collection, which includes the 1995 Mortal Kombat movie, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, Mortal Kombat Legacy Season 1, and the Spawn movie with Michael J. White, which is crazy because this Blu-ray release predates uh, Mortal Kombat 11, so and Spawn was a guest character in Mortal Kombat 11, so that's interesting. Uh, Captain America 3 Movie Collection, which is my favorite movie trilogy ever in the MCU. Ca the Captain America movies are my favorites, so yeah. Uh, Cowboy Bebop The Complete Series, which Cowboy Bebop is my favorite anime of all time. Uh, Deadpool, Deadpool 2, the super duper cut. Uh, the Daniel Craig Collection, which only includes Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, and Skyfall, which, to me, I consider this um, the only movies worth watching in the Daniel Craig era of James Bond films. I even like Quantum of Solace. 
I thought Spectre was a waste of time, and No Time to Die was just made just to tie up loose ends, in my opinion. And the Daniel Craig era lasted way too long. So, yeah, can't wait to see who's the new James Bond. Uh, Dragon Ball Evolution, Dragon Ball Super, uh, Broly the movie, Dread, and Ed and Eddie. This, if you guys see this Ed and Eddie Blu-ray, it's actually an unofficial uh, bootleg or a fan release, I guess you could say, of Ed and Eddie. I bought this from MonsterlandMedia.com. Uh, I guess check it out, but I bought this way before, like a couple years before Cartoon Network did their official release, you know? Like I said earlier in my DVD collection, they call it the complete series, but it's not the complete series because it's missing the holiday specials and the movie that serves as the finale of the show, but this Blu-ray release has all of it. It has the holiday specials and the movie, Ed and, Ed and Eddie's Big Picture Show. So, yeah. Uh, Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer, so a double feature. A uh, Fan Four Stick, Green Lantern, Green Lantern First Flight. The Ghost Rider Collection, which has Ghost Rider and Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. The 1998 Godzilla movie, Gridman the Hyper Agent, which is the Japanese counterpart of Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Halo Legends, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, uh, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and Deathly Hallows Part 1 and Part 2. Hey Arnold the Movie, the 2003 Ang Lee Hulk movie, you know, with Eric Bana, and the Edward Norton Incredible Hulk movie, Indiana Jones 4 Film Collection, and the Iron Giant Signature Collection. Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Justice League vs. The Fatal Five, uh, Justice League The New Frontier, Zack Snyder's Justice League, Logan, Man of Steel, Men in Black Trilogy, the Pierce Brosnan Collection, which has Golden Eye, Tomorrow Never Dies, The World Is Not Enough, and Die Another Day, which Pierce Brosnan is my favorite actor to be James Bond. I love his era movies. I even love Die Another Day, so uh, make of that for what you will. Uh, Pokemon Detective Pikachu, Power Rangers, Rush Hour Trilogy, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie collection, and Spider-Man the Complete Animated Series, which is the complete 90s cartoon. Also a uh, bootleg unofficial release or a fan release, also from Monsterland Media. I got it because we, we in the United States have yet to have an official release of the 90s Spider-Man cartoon, so that's why I own it. Uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, The Amazing Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Spider -Man Far From Home, Spider-Man No Way Home, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, SpongeBob SquarePants The Movie, uh, Star Wars The Prequel Trilogy, so episodes 1, 2, and, and 3, Solo A Star Wars Story, Rogue One A Star Wars Story, and Star Wars The Original Trilogy, so... Episodes 4, 5, and 6. Uh, Street Fighter. Street Fighter 2, the animated movie. Max Fleischer's um, Superman, 1941 to 1943. Superman the movie, the Christopher Reeve movie, which has the extended cut and special edition. The extended cut is the three-hour TV um, cut, which is my preferred way of watching this film. Uh, Superman Triple Feature, which also has uh, Superman the Movie, Superman 2 the Richard Donner Cut, and Superman Returns. Superman Batman Apocalypse, Superman Doomsday, Superman vs. the Elite. The Super Mario Brothers Movie. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The Michael Bay produced Ninja Turtles movies. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, Tekken, Transformers, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Dark of the Moon, Age of Extinction, The Last Night, Uncharted, uh, I guess a comic book triple feature which has V for Vendetta, Watchmen, and Constantine, Venom, Venom Let There Be Carnage, The Wolverine, Wonder Woman the Commemorative Edition, which is the 2009 animated movie. Uh, Wonder Woman, the Gal Gadot 2017 movie. X-Men, the complete series, and X-Men Evolution. Those two, once again. Also a bootleg, unofficial fan release from uh, Monsterland Me Media. 
uh, X-Men Trilogy and X-Men Origins Wolverine. So that's pretty much all my Blu-ray collection. So there is that. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time.